Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we're going to be working on our speech manager. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to collapse this, maybe this one too. And um, let's create a new group here. Uh, we're going to call this speech manager in case we need more than one file. Uh, I don't think we're going to need one more than one file, but if we decide to extend this, uh, you'll have a home for your speech manager related things uh we're gonna name this uh class speech manager or let's do speech to text speech text oh, there we go okay all right so we have speech manager we're gonna import speech okay speech module and we're gonna create a class called speech manager okay now this is gonna have some public properties is recording first of all then there are a few private properties once again audio engine audio session and we're gonna need a recognition request for SF speech audio buffer recognition request so we're gonna create that record nation request SF speech audio buffer recognition request okay um, now first thing we're gonna do is check the permissions so unc check permissions okay you're gonna say sf speech recognizer dot request authorization okay and um, we are going to get the auth status back okay and uh we're gonna basically dispatch this on main queue so dispatch queue dot main dot async and this is gonna be we're gonna put a switch statement here um and this switch statement is gonna be on auth status basically stating that if there's a case authorized then break we got what we needed otherwise default print speech recognition is not available there you go okay all right so that's our check permissions then we're gonna have a start function and this is gonna have a completion handler so completion at escaping and this is basically going to have a closure that returns a string that closure function returns void and uh, basically we're simply going to say if is is recording stop recording so we're going to call this stop recording function before we write it okay and uh, and have start recording which is going to say take a completion and we're gonna pass the completion so let's write these two functions right here um, so let's write the start first because its signature is gonna be actually you know what it's gonna say it's gonna look like this start recording because it takes the same closure and then we have this guy right here 
There we go. Build to make sure all the errors are gone. And uh, let's work on our stop recording. So stop recording is simple. We simply say recognition request dot end audio. Okay, recognition request dot uh, is equal to nil. Simply assign it to nil. Uh, we stop the audio engine. So audio engine dot stop. We remove input node dot remove tap on bus zero and try audio session dot set active to false and assign audio session to nil there we go that's our stop and uh, next up is our start recording and this one is gonna have a card let recognizer SF switch recognizer we're gonna initialize that and recognizer dot is available we want to check that if if any of any one of these fail we are simply going to print this and return like so okay otherwise we're gonna say speech um, so recognition request all right is equal to sf speech audio buffer recognition request initialize that and recognition request dot should should report partial results so we do want to see partial results when we correct it we actually can um, update them but uh, like you know we want to show them so set that to true and then we're going to call recognizer dot recognition task this is the main thing it takes uh, uh, there are two parameters uh, there's one that takes uh, or overload that take within delegate so basically with request and delegate we want to take the second one which actually gives us the completion handler and we're gonna give a recognition request our recognition request right here okay and for the handler we get back the result and error okay so we want to make sure that error is nil otherwise we simply print localized description and we can force unwrap that because we know that's not nil so we can actually safely do that card let result is equal to result else return okay if result dot is final so if it is final result then only we want to actually send it through the completion so we're going to say complete completion and uh we're going to say result dot best transcription so result dot best transcription there we go yeah best transcription and we want to send the formatted string okay all right so that is our recognizer task or recognition task and we want to set up our audio engine so audio engine is av audio engine initialize that input node input note is going to be audio engine so audio engine dot input node okay we're going to cache that uh, let recording format is going to be input note dot output format on for bus zero and input node dot install tab so we're going to install this tab on bus zero with buffer size 1024 and recording format that we have created this actually gives us a block that gives us the handle to the buffer 
second parameter we don't care about. So we're going to simply take that buffer and assign it to our recognition request. We're going to simply append that buffer right there. Okay. Then we're going to have our audio engine dot prepare. Okay. And uh, once again, we have We have to actually start uh, the session, but before that, we have to wrap that inside. Do try catch. So let me print the error here. There we go. And we're going to simply say audio session is equal to AV audio session dot shared instance try audio session dot set category and uh, we want to set the category for more than option basically so we're gonna say record spoken audio and duck others to basically just um, reduce the other other noises background noises okay and we're gonna say audio session dot set active and Activate that, notify others on deactivation. Okay. And then we're going to simply start our audio engine. Start. start. Okay. All right. So that build succeeds. That's good. Um, that means basically we have finished um, working on our speech manager. So um, in the next video, we're going to work on tying everything together inside our content view. So let's go ahead and hop onto the next video where we're going to tie everything together and uh, going to build the app and run it. Okay. So I will see you guys in next video. Thank you.